Welcome to this webcast. In this webcast, in this tutorial, I will show you how to code a, a COBOL program. Maybe your first COBOL program. And uh, we will do this with a very simple way. COBOL is used inside EBM 3270 mainframe environment. It's a very old language, but truly useful for money management and business logic. Ok, I will now introduce you a program that I used for many years. With this tool you'll be able to code a COBOL program in uh, less than 5 minutes. So follow me and uh, watch uh, this video tutorial. This software is uh, Builders Heaven and uh, it's a source code generator. I've already downloaded and installed a full version of the software. You can find it at builder7.altervista.org. For example, I will show you the page. Here we are. This is the main page of the Builder7. You can find at this download section the download button and so on. Okay. Now I will launch the software to show you how to set up the main function. This is the main page of the Builder 7. There are uh, user data and FTP settings. I will skip this section because uh, this section uh, is where you put uh, where the files are saved, the main options, compressions, uh, DB2 and so on. This is not uh, our interest for now. What I will show you is how to configure the basic parameters of a COBOL program. So let's go at this menu. Ok. What we have to do, for example, is to create a new program. The type of language we will choose is COBOL, of course. Ok. Warning, uh, every information will be deleted uh, to create the new program, ok. Alright, this is the basic functionality of a COBOL program. What we have to do at the first step is to insert the name of the COBOL. We will call it uh, COBOL01. The language we already selected is COBOL, but uh, we can change it at any time. The description of the COBOL is... Uh, this is my first, first COBOL program. I will code a file input and a file output. Inside uh, this uh, kind of section you can create uh, all the main uh, options that the COBOL have. We will choose for example that uh, it will be or a routine or a batch program. For now we choose a batch program that is uh, the basic COBOL program uh, we will meet. JCL uh, is uh, the header of the COBOL programs. We don't want it at this kind of activity. Comments will help us uh, to understand better the programs. With comments you can uh, divide the section of a program uh, between uh, uh, identification division, uh, working section and uh, so on. Uh, we will choose to have uh, comments, so we check this box. Constants is a built-in functionality. It's uh, not uh, really that COBOL have constants. With this functionality a particular uh, management of the uh, records will be saved uh, and compared at the last. We will not use this function at this kind of tutorial. Ok, we have uh, many functionalities in this panel. What uh, we want to do is to create an input file and uh, an output file. Our program will start from an input file, make a process 
and then create an output file. Now we insert the details of the input files, clicking Detail. Ok, the file name is uh, input1, for example, file with Zines uh, records, or better, input file1 with business record. We don't have the other options because we selected only one file. OK. At the second option we will create an output file. We can uh, use the default name and we must not specify anything in this box or we can select and uh, specify a name. Out file 2 1 uh, extract extraction of the input file 1 we can also choose uh, to export uh, this file and structure it for a csv excel uh, file compatible so we can check this box but uh, in this options we will not uh, try this matter we just uh, select a simple output file OK. The setup for now is complete. It's a very simple program, an input file, an output file, call it COBOL001, and uh, it's a batch program with comments. No constants, non in stream, no buffering, no through. We don't like through, it's old style, and no JCL. A very simple COBOL program. Let's click OK. At this point, the program is uh, successfully configured. We can uh, create the program clicking Generate the program. This is the generating panel. In this panel, the Builder 7 will have uh, to process all the information we have uh, set up uh, before and create uh, an txt file. Let's go. Warning. Already exists a file with this content. Oh. I didn't know. Click yes. Buffering, conversion, generating. Builder 7 job complete. Cobble 1 has been generated. 368 lines. OK. We can preview the program with this. And here it is. This is the generated Cobble program. I will go with keyboard now. We have uh, some kind of information that are not fulfilled, like this new file out. We will speak about this in another m in another tutorial. What uh, will interest for us is how our COBOL program, so we can delete all this and start from identification division. Here, one our name COBOL001 version one. This is the date. These are the company encoder information. They are configured into the setup uh, menu. The description I entered and uh, a small logic graph. This graph means that I will have a file input, a process in the middle, and I will obtain a file output. This is interesting uh, uh, transformation of uh, what a program can do. With this uh, kind of drawing, you will see that uh, fetch are uh, targeted to input. DB2 uh, select are target as a process, and uh, update or delete are target as output. Or, for example, a simple example: file input are inside the input area, and output inside the output area. That's all. Here we have the environment division, configuration section. Here are some uh, commented special uh, uh, instructions that are used for debugging. Here we are. The file control has a setup how our input one file input and how our out file one file output, as uh, we have specified inside this menu. Let's take a look again. 
out file one out file one input file one input file one okay what we have to do to complete the COBOL program is to set up uh, the record uh, that uh, the file input is uh, constructed for example complete the following code we could use a copy we have uh, just uh, two variables var1 var2 input 10 like a key input uh, 90 like data and the output file for example the same as uh, the input var1 okay input 10 like the key and uh, 90 like something that is data length 100 the working storage section have uh, of course uh, some automatism to get uh, input file and output file status code it's already all built in then you can use flags in this kind of program we will not use uh, the flags because they complicate the program and we are doing just a simple program and uh, we will find uh, an automatic management of uh, counters in this case we'll have our counter for uh, input records and our counters for output records counters will show you at the end of uh, execution how many input records you have in your file input and how many output you have written into the file output all this uh, already built in uh, just calling the perform inside of course it's uh, provided a routine description routine uh, are uh, always called but uh, in this case we will not call anything and uh, also the working storage uh, will be empty because we don't uh, need uh, to code a really COBOL program just a sample this is interesting declaratives are an important way to uh, debug software you can enable them by clearing these asterisks and decide uh, if you sh if you want to show the debug name uh, or some uh, variables from your working storage anyway I keep always this kind of uh, information inside the source because they became uh, very useful when you are in trouble with your code all the generated programs begins where there is the main also called inside COBOL programs procedure division perform FM1000 init perform F2000 main process and uh, perform F9000 close of course this is a way to structure your program we can uh, initialize everything here makes the main process inside of here and uh, terminate uh, the operations in the closer section so we will find uh, this process below starting control and basic data initializations here we can initialize counters for example and open file input and open file output all this has already integrated inside your COBOL program main process here we have to complete our code for example there is the way to access the input file records and there is a way to access the output to write the output file records so here we have to edit with our logic and our logic is that uh, I want to create a record of output for every record of input okay let's go to this perform here it is perform read the first record and read until it's okay reading the first record completing the code we can now pass the past the code of writing the records of output 
Okay. Let's keep some alignment. Here the automatic management of the counters. If the file input is very huge, a grid file input, we will be able to trace some log and commenting this part. I want uh, a display each 1000 uh, 1, uh, records of input file. And uh, here we are. We can also decide that uh, there is a condition, so we can write uh, if uh, uh, if input var one if input var one equal test perform write and if it's a simple uh, process but uh, it's just for our purpose at the end uh, we will have uh, some automatic perform some automatic uh, sections created by, by, by builder 7 that uh, read the input files and uh, go to error if something get wrong or just finish when the input file finish this is a built-in function and it truly works good. At this point, uh, our write file output. Here we have to complete the code because because we can have uh, some uh, various records, and uh, we must say what to write into the file of output. So, I want to write uh, the input file records and the input file key. I have to get uh, these variables and write into this one. So move this to this and move the data var2 to var2. Okay write the, the record of output display if there is something error error management is very important and uh, it's already built in uh, with a basic version to increase the uh, the complexity of the code uh, you can just edit and uh, customize uh, your error process at last the program has been already finished we can uh, go further we will see closing uh, performs. We will see the close perform called from the main that will close files and display counters. And then display that the program successfully ended with a stop run for batch extraction programs that must be terminated. The display counters automatically complete itself uh, with this uh, information we will say at the end of the running program what uh, how many input file input records we have processed how many output we have processed and so on at the last we can get uh, a particular management of the errors here we can complete our code and show some variables from the working storage or uh, just uh, say that uh, the error has been uh, found, you must uh, repeat the program. This is uh, a complete COBOL program.